What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are getting our AC lines hooked up for our Turbo K24 Swap Subaru BRZ. Y'all know it's hot as hell down here in Georgia, so if there's ever an opportunity for me to run air conditioning, y'all know I'm gonna go for it. Let's jump in. So the first thing that I want to comment on is as I was putting my engine in and getting it mounted, I actually removed this cowl for the um, windshield wipers and all of that stuff. It actually covers the wiper motor, which is down sort of underneath this. So I went ahead and got that back in. All it was was really a bunch of these little square clips. So once you kind of got it positioned right, you know, it all snaps in. There were a few other clips that we had to get. There was one here. There were three in total that actually popped out. All of those little square ones on top just pulled straight up basically. Uh, well, there's uh, little clamps. You had to basically pinch on either side and push up for those square ones, but they didn't actually come out. The other ones were one, two right here, and then three. Oop, this little guy right here by my pinky. That one right there. So there were three of those, but anyway. Now that we've got that back in, we can actually start to run our AC lines, which are gonna come up against the back of this, over the top, down, and into our block that actually runs to the inside of the cabin. Now, what I've already found is that just sort of by test fitting some things, it is tight back here. Unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to remove my valve cover. It will all fit with the valve cover back in. It's not a, a clearance issue, but just with this in place, it's a little bit tight to actually get the lines to go into these two holes. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take the valve cover back off. Okay, so now if we take a closer look, we can see the actual block that we're looking for. There is a bolt that goes right here in the middle of this bolt hole. I just pulled that out. So we can actually start to put these um, AC lines together. Now, I'll go ahead and say this before we kind of get along to it. I obviously don't have the condenser here in front. I'm gonna put the radiator and the AC condenser in at the same time whenever we go to do our coolant lines. So basically I'm just gonna have the two lines that run up here to the front that would normally go into the AC condenser um, will just sort of be free until next week's video whenever we can actually run the lines for our heater core that will go to, one goes to the intake manifold, one goes to this port right here on the uh, thermostat housing and then we'll run the coolant lines to the radiator. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave that out, but just know that there are two ports, basically a, a top one and a bottom one, that go onto that AC condenser. It's basically like a radiator, but smaller. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So, uh, let's go ahead and start by, I think we'll put in our big line first. And by big line, I mean this one. This is just significantly thicker than the other one. So um this end here this is essentially going to come over top of the engine block go down back over and then move backwards and actually fit into that little block that we were just talking about and this little mounting sort of bracket here will come all the way down and this will actually help hold on to the smaller line oh my elbows in the way this little guy will actually help hold on to the smaller line, this one. So essentially, these guys are gonna go something like this. And if you have seen any of the K-Power images, you've seen these sort of double lines running over top of the engine. These are for your AC. Now, this end, we'll talk about these as we go along, but let's get the larger of these two put in first. So what I'm gonna do basically is just set this line down here somewhere, get this put in. This guy's catching on something. Need that to 
there we go. So yeah, basically just slide this more or less in there, and I'll show you that. So that line runs over the top of the engine and goes into the larger hole, the left hole, here on this little heat exchanger block. It's not really a heat exchanger block, I'm just not exactly positive of what to call this thing yet. But so we'll just rest that there temporarily. So what we're gonna end up doing is getting that smaller line brought in here. We're gonna get this little clamp hooked over the top of it, and then that mounting bolt that we took out is gonna go through this center hole and into these threads. And as we tighten that down, it's gonna pull everything in and it'll be much more secure. Let's get that little small line put in. Now, before we get this guy mounted up, I do wanna comment on this little switch right here. This does not come included in the K-Power kit. This is the AC pressure switch, and this actually comes, you can either buy a new one if you, if you need a new one, but I believe mine was working just fine before the car died. But this actually comes off of a, a hard line on the Subaru BRZ system, which is this whole monstrosity of a piece. But so this little spot right here is where that sensor was mounted. So all you have to do is take it off of this crazy looking piece, install it into the slot on the new AC line provided by K-Power, and then you should be good to go once you get it plugged back into the chassis harness. Let's take this guy, do a similar sort of thing where we just set this aside, drop this line in, So it is quite tight back here. You can see that there is actually a little bit of touching currently between this small AC line and this little bolt at the back of the block, but we are not pushed all the way back in yet. Now that we've got our hardware in there, all we're gonna do is just take a 10 mil socket and just bolt that in and that should pull these two parts closer together and should free us of any interference that we've got back here. Now that we've got that all tightened down and our lines are done, these two ends are still rather loose. Now the small line has all of these kinks in the hard line and this is actually going to run up to the front of your condenser, whereas the large, thicker line, which comes down from here, is going to connect into your AC compressor and I'll show you guys that in a second here. So for a second there, I really thought I had a problem, and I still might, but what, oh, get this dang fuel line out of the way. Um, so if you took K-Power's recommendation and you bought the AC compressor that they recommended from a manufacturer called GPD, then your AC compressor will probably come with the same things that mine did. And I was very confused because it has these sort of little tubes on top and the connections that go into them are these thicker, you know, this thing is not gonna fit into this, you know, or on top of whatever the heck this little plug is. However, there's little plates. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a little plate here that's being held on by these bolts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbolt these and see if by pulling this plate off, if there isn't a larger port underneath these little rubber hoses on either side, because that was throwing me off real bad. Yeah, they're both 10 mil, both of those bolts. So these little plates that were on top of the AC compressor basically just need to be pulled off. So the big line here that runs from behind the engine block is going to run into the front port here. You can see that's kind of how this is lining up. Obviously I'm gonna have to get back in here with two hands, but this guy is gonna go in there. There is a third line from K-Power that is going to go into the back port. Whoa, focus. The back port there is gonna loop around and come, I believe, to the top port on the condenser. I will confirm or correct that in a second once we get that one installed. 
So again, the big line that runs from behind the engine connects to this front port right here and you can see where um, this is part of it that's actually used for, I think the filling process probably. This one has an L and the other one that has a, a, a little cap like this has an H on it for, I'm assuming low pressure, high pressure. One comment that I did wanna make is we talked about this pressure switch. There's this little line here that runs kind of right underneath your, um, I believe ABS or traction control little module. There's this little guy. That is the connector that connects to this pressure switch. So let's just click that into place. I believe this guy is gonna end up sitting a little bit higher and we're gonna deal with all the, those three fuel lines. We're only gonna need one of those three ultimately. And so this little line, I'm pretty sure goes to the bottom of the condenser. Again, I'm gonna try and confirm all of this stuff later on in a second here. But yeah, just wanted to comment on the pressure switch. Basically what you're trying to do is get this mounted to that backside on the AC compressor and then this is going to loop around so that this end can come around to the condenser up here by the radiator. We're just gonna take this 10 mil flange nut, thread it on top and tighten it down. All right, so I'll try and show you guys. So here's that other line that we just installed and you can see that this goes around loops and comes towards the front and this, whoa, this guy will connect to the top of your condenser and then this big long line will connect to the bottom one. Now the only problem that I have with this whole setup, love that we're keeping AC, super happy about that, is that I was actually planning to mount my catch can on the rail here and obviously that is not going to be an easy option. I may have to figure out something else. You know, I've got the, uh, the two dash 10 fittings coming off of my valve cover that I was gonna feed backwards down to a catch can here that I was gonna mount on the rail. But this line is going to interfere with that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll just run it all, maybe I'll mount it down low, I'll mount it below where this line sort of interferes with the rail. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. But yeah, I mean, if you already have your radiator and your AC condenser in place, then all you gotta do is take the two 10 mil bolts that are in there as standard, bolt them in, your AC system is hooked up and uh, just ready to be compressed. But just make sure that you get that pressure switch this guy off of the stock hard line from the Subaru BRZ, clip it into here, and you're pretty much good to go. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I know it was a, a short video, or sh I say short, shorter than normal. The last video was uh, the, the entire wiring harness, and it was 35 minutes long. It's a lot of detail to kind of go into that one, whereas this one was pretty straightforward. Just three lines, hook them up to your uh, AC condenser if you've got it, which for me is gonna be the next video. We're gonna do coolant lines, heater hoses, all that kind of stuff, radiator back in place, AC condenser back in place, so we'll bolt this up in the next video. But yeah, this week is relatively short. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Really hope you're enjoying following the series. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content, and until next time, Build your dreams.